Now to an NBC News investigation that we've been working on for a year, looking into a medical device that was designed to save lives, but is instead putting lives at risk. It's been implanted in thousands of Americans, many walking around with it right now. People who may not know it could be deadly. NBC's Stephanie Gosk has the first of our two-part report. Dodie Froelich's first brush with death came after a car accident in 2004. I broke three ribs. I broke my femur compound out of my leg in two spots. Everything was broke. The extensive injuries put this mother of two at high risk for blood clots. As a precaution, doctors implanted a blood clot filter called the Recovery, made by medical device giant C.R. Bard. It's a one and a half inch wire metal trap placed in the largest vein in the body to block clots from reaching the heart and lungs, where they could be fatal. Four months after being released from the hospital, Dodie suffered a debilitating headache and passed out. In that two seconds of being in the ambulance, I started flatlining. After rounds of testing, doctors discovered a piece from Bard's filter had broken off and pierced her heart. Emergency open heart surgery within minutes. My family was notified. The priest was brought in. It's thin like a hair. Doctors saved it's Dodie's life by sharp. removing this sharp one inch piece of metal from her heart, something she keeps to this day. About a quarter million blood clot filters are implanted in patients like Dodie Froelich each year, most without incident. 11 companies sell them in the U.S. But Bard's recovery filter stood out early as a risky device. It's now associated with at least 27 fatalities and about 300 reported problems. It wasn't long after Bard put this filter on the market that the company knew it had an emerging crisis on its hands. These confidential documents obtained by NBC News raised some serious questions. Did Bard know it had a potentially fatal product? And did the company withhold that information from the public? By the time the filter leg punctured Doty's heart, Bard had already hired a public relations firm that circulated a crisis management plan warning that unfavorable press could damage stock prices and ruin reputations. Bard executives hired an outside doctor to conduct this confidential study obtained by NBC News. The results? The recovery filter had higher rates of relative risk for death, filter fracture, and movement than all of its competitors. Further investigation, the doctor wrote, is urgently warranted. But even as death and injury reports were climbing, the company decided not to recall the filter. Instead, Bard sold about 34,000 of them for nearly three years before replacing them with a modified version with a new name. The last thing I want to do is have a device that is going to be harmful or even cause death in one of my patients on the market, particularly if I'm not aware of those risks. Rita Redberg is a cardiologist and an editor for the Journal of the American Medical Association. She also says the FDA isn't doing its job. The system right now is flawed. And what's the principal problem with it right now? It can't protect patients and assure safety and effectiveness of medical devices. The FDA declined our repeated request for an interview over a four-month period. It said in a statement that it is committed to ensuring that patients have access to safe and effective medical devices and have established pathways and guidelines to protect the public health. CR Bard officials, including President John Wyland, also declined our request for an interview. We tried to talk to him when he arrived at work. Mr. Wyland, there are thousands of people with this filter in them. But seeing our cameras, he stayed in his car and drove away. In a statement to NBC News, Bard said that all of its filters have been appropriately cleared by the FDA based on required and accurate documentation, and that when used as instructed, they demonstrate significant benefits to patients. But knowing how close she came to death, Dodie Froelich considers herself lucky. Sometimes when I tuck my son in, it's a longer hug with, I'm glad I'm here. The question many people may be asking is how this product made it to the market in the first place. Tomorrow night, we talk to a former company insider who says Bard executives ignored her safety concerns and that her signature was forged on a key document submitted to the FDA. All Lester. right, Stephanie, we'll look forward to your next report. Thank you.